Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everyone, I want to check into the current energy, see what your person, how they're feeling about you, um, maybe what they're going through, what they may want to say. This reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with everyone, okay? So just take what does resonate and toss out the rest. Don't try to force anything. And thank you so much everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, love smiley face emojis the nicknames you guys give me out of love i love you guys right back thank you so much for all of your support i truly mean that all right divine how is this person currently feeling about my collective okay a wish i feel like they're they're wishing for you i feel like something is about to happen too and it's funny that this card came out because I saw a shooting star almost exactly like this, um, like kind of over my house here just the other night. So and I, I told cancers, I don't, you may be a cancer, but I did a cancer reading, I think, on it. And I said something good is about to come in here. Yeah, this person's, they're wishing for you, man. They see you as their happiness. Yeah, but this they're also seeing this as they've really devastated this connection. Okay, this is devastation. This is possibly, um, you know, a storm kicking up. But I, I really feel like this person knows they destroyed their wish. They destroyed their wish fulfillment here. Yeah, they're really sad about it. This is crying, tears, a lot of emotion. You could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could be dealing with a Leo, maybe a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But yeah, this person, um, they're realizing they just destroyed their chance at wish fulfillment with you. They really messed up here. How is this person feeling about my collective? How is this person feeling about the collective? Um, I feel like they're doing a lot of daydreaming about you here. Um, this is your divine masculine. I feel like you're a divine feminine here. If you notice, you're dropping your energy, this magical energy, wherever you go. I feel like this person thinks that you're like the bomb, right? <laughs> you are. You're, you're, you're their wish. Um, definitely divine feminine energy. Man, they really screwed up. They really screwed up. There could have been some kind of spell work done here. Um, I feel like they're trying to manifest you back. You're in star energy, okay? Um, yeah, you could be an Aquarius. But yeah, clarify this spell work here. What's going on with that? Yeah, healing energy. I feel like somebody was trying to either block this connection or stop you from succeeding, Collective. I gotta say, that's really the feeling that I'm getting out here. They're seeing you. You're putting yourself out there in the public eye. And they're seeing you having a glow up, okay? Um, I feel like there's been some spell work done here with the Magician in Reverse, yep. Candle magic, okay? Um, it's it's not working. It's just not working. I can also see this as, you know, all of that devastation here. This person can't piece it together and reconstruct this connection the way it was before. Um, this is a healing card, not a sexual card, right? I feel like you guys are the healer, the empath here. And... Um, yeah, somebody was trying to destroy your success, or I don't know. I feel like there was magic done to try to to try to ruin you. Yeah, look what's on the bottom of the deck already. Sabotage you, sabotage your success, your money, your finances, but it's not working. I feel like you just keep glowing and you keep um you keep being a star you, you're on this major glow up and i feel like with the sun card out here you your positive energy is literally deflecting any kind of spell work coming to you um you may need to do some healing of your own you know um 
do your cleansing rituals, right? Your spiritual baths, your burning your sage, you know, any any kind of positive affirmations, anything to um, turn that spell work back to sender, okay? That's what you're kind of doing here. The spell work isn't working. Yeah, see, somebody was trying to ruin your money situation here. I feel like they still are. That there's that magician again. Okay, I feel like there's some spell work being done here to try to stop you from succeeding. Basically, stop you from getting your money, getting your Ten of Pentacles. This could have been um, to try to stop you from anything that's going to be rock solid for you. It could be a new connection. Feel like people were somebody was trying to get other people to walk away from you instead i feel like they're sabotaging things for you trying to get trying to get other people to walk away from you or yeah i feel like there could be a karmic out here this page of swords um i feel like it's a feminine energy that's attacking you yeah they're sending you spiritual attacks they're watching you be awesome. They're watching you step into a whole new cycle. You're leaving, You're living a peaceful life here. You don't have anything to do with, I feel like, with this person. You're kind of off on your own. You're entering into a new journey, a new cycle, all on your own. And somebody keeps throwing bad juju at you, doing spell work to try to ruin your money, trying to ruin your, wherever it is that you're going in life, they're trying to ruin that. Okay, they're trying to ruin that. I, I don't know that it's your person. Yeah, I, I feel like your person, um, this is your person's energy. I, they don't know what to do about this. Okay, they know what's going on. They know about the spell work. They know what this karmic is doing. They know the karmic is sending you bad energy. They know. But they don't know if they should touch this or not. They don't know if they should defend you or not. They don't know what to do to stop this karmic, okay? They feel stuck, but I feel like they're betraying you then. I feel like they're betraying you. I have to say, if they know what's being done to you energetically and they're not doing anything, yeah, see, you're the star out here. These people are trying to stop you from your glow up. They're trying to stop you from winning. They're trying, especially this karmic is trying to do anything that they can, send in all kinds of bad juju directly at you. Why? Because they, they want to ruin your success. That's why. No reason you're not doing anything to this person. They just want to ruin you. So they may be dragging your name through the dirt. They may be... Uh, I know, I feel like there's a lot of talk about you behind your back, a lot of lies. This masculine knows about it. They know about it. I feel like they're trying to get people to doubt you, okay? They're trying to um, get people to, you know, see you in a different light, okay? They're trying to ruin your success, and I feel like they're doing it on the down low, and, and there's magic here involved, spell work, okay? They're doing anything that they can now to try to stop your glow up, but I don't think it can be stopped. I'm, you're to being divinely led. Yeah, it can't be stopped. You may find out about all of this. This could all come to light very, very soon. I would say within the next eight weeks, maybe, the next seven to eight weeks, you're going to find out who's been betraying you, you're going to find out about the lies that's been spread about you, who's had a hard time believing you, who's, who, you're going to find all of this out. The sun is going to illuminate everything, okay? Everything, yeah, somebody's going to come and tell you. Telling you, this is for somebody, maybe not all of you, but... Somebody is dragging your name through the mud and doing all they can energetically to, uh, to stop you from winning. Be only because you're winning. You're peaceful. You're a healer. You're an empath. 
Um, you help other people out there. More than likely, it's something doing something online. Okay, very intuitive, spiritually led. But I feel like, yeah, um, this page of swords out here is causing all kinds of trouble for you. Yeah, I feel like your masculine sees this. You could be dealing with, the, uh, your masculine could be a Pisces, um, uh, Virgo energy, maybe Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And this uh, karmic up here could, um, could be a air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius maybe. Doesn't have to be though. What's this Knight of Wands? Somebody wants to come in and talk to you. Somebody wants to get back together. You're their wish fulfillment. I feel like they're staying quiet for now, though. I feel like this is the masculine that knows. Uh, it's like they want to come towards you really, really passionately here. This could be a person who played you in the past, played games with you in the past. Um... I feel like they're angry with this karmic, though. They may want to say something. But, yeah, they, they've been knowing that this karmic is trying to ruin you. And they haven't done anything about it yet. It's really sad. Yeah, somebody's about to take some kind of action here, though, towards this karmic, I'm telling you. They're going to... I feel like somebody's about to have it out with the karmic. I feel like this masculine is making a decision. They're seeing now the true side of this karmic, how obsessive they are. Yeah, and they want they want to start a new journey elsewhere. They want to start a new journey someplace else. They're feeling like a complete and utter fool that they got wrapped up with this toxic energy. This is a karmic here, this page of swords. That's who this person is currently with. And they're going to talk to them here saying, um, can I get out of this situation because I'm really getting burned here. You're kind of toxic. I need to go. I need to go. I need to go. Yeah, I feel like they're, yep, and they're going to come straight to you. Try to heal this thing with you. All right, show me more on this. Yeah, this person's getting ready to talk. I feel like you're going to find out about everything that was done behind your back. I, I feel like it's not working, though. You're still moving forward. You're still abundant. You're still a healer. You're pouring loving energy into everybody and everything that you're doing here. Yeah, that spell work is not working. I feel like there. Um, this is something sudden, too, that happens, okay? I feel like this is going to be, this person's going to come and tell you this stuff out of the blue. It's just going to happen really fast. I, I also feel like if this karmic doesn't stop doing their spell work, the divine's going to stop them. And they're, they're, they're in the process already of bringing down their tower. This karmic's going to lose this masculine. They're going to lose this masculine. You know, because they're not, uh, they're, they're not acting out of integrity, okay? They're not, they're acting out of um, a lower vibration, okay? And the masculines are, they know about it. Feel like they're getting sick of it. All right, so what else can you show me here, current energy for the collective? Yeah, there's a lot of gossip about you, um... Oh, they want to get together, though. This is get-togethers, party celebrations. I I'm telling you, this masculine is coming. They want their Ten of Cups. They want their Ten of Cups. They're gonna, I feel like they're going to end things with this karmic, and they're coming towards you. You're going to hear from this person out of the blue. Like, you're going to be sitting there just kind of chilling, you know, and all of a sudden you get a text message or a phone call, and their name comes up on your phone, right? I feel like it's going to be surprising here, but this person's just going to come, they're going to come flying in, they're going to tell you everything, I feel like you're going to find everything out that's been done to you, and, and you're going to get communication from this person, 
Yeah, they're in a lot of regret. They're coming in to apologize. There's going to be a major fight here, I feel, between them and the karmic. I mean, you know, like I said, so this is could be a storm coming in, and I feel like it is. The karmic is getting a storm coming in, and you are going to be getting some kind of wish fulfillment coming in, okay? Um, what does this person want to say to the collective? It's a handmade deck, guys, but it's it's super old, and I love it, okay? And, um, yeah, what are they going to say? What does this person want to say to the collective? I keep seeing Dark Knight of the Soul on the bottom of the card, okay, or on the bottom of the deck. So this person, they, they could be going through the Dark Knight of the Soul right now. Feeling that loss, suffering that loss, having to look at themselves because they're not acting out of integrity either. And they know it. They know. But see, here's the thing. I always see these two as Virgo cards because it's this is the hermit without the hoodie. Okay, this person has kept it all inside just thinking about this, shining the light on the situation, okay? Not saying anything. But in this position, the hoodie comes off. They're getting ready to talk. They're getting ready to show how they feel, communicate, speak the truth, um, because they can't, they can't handle the emotional side of this anymore. They know they're not acting out of integrity. They know what's being done to you. And they're feeling guilty about it just because they know. Okay, they may not be the ones casting the spell work, but they know about it and they're not doing anything. It's the same thing. Okay, it's the same thing. So, yeah, they're starting to really, their conscience, um, their, their conscience is, is not letting them forget this. Okay. All right, so what does this person want to say to the collective? I need, I need to apologize. It says here, I have solid boundaries. I feel like this person, they're starting to wake up to the fact that they're not acting out of, out of integrity and they need to get some kind of boundary, law, boundary lines drawn. And they know they need to come in and apologize to you. Um, what does this person want to say to the collective? Yeah, sexual healing. They may be very passionate about you. It says here, I don't trust you. I feel like that's what you're saying to this person. Don't even think about it because I don't trust you. I just need some space. I feel like they're doing a lot of thinking, but they're about to come in. You need to be honest. Yeah, this person knows they need to apologize. They need to tell you the truth. I feel like you're going to get the truth. Um, you're not going to. They may have passion for you here. They, they, I feel like they're, they have a lot of passion for you here. King of Wands energy. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But this person... Um, they, it's going to be an ixnay for you on any kind of sexual healing, okay? You don't, you still do not trust this person because of what they did to you in the past. Um, yeah, I feel like with I need some space, this person, they're trying to think here. You can see them thinking about what they're going to do here in the situation. They still don't know what they're going to do about it. I feel like the only thing they can do is speak the truth. I want to trust you, but I don't know if I can. I'm scared. This person doesn't want to come towards you and have you reject them. I feel like that's been a big fear for this person this whole time. Um, but they want to trust the situation. Even though they're scared, I still see them coming to talk to you. I've got somebody talking to you here and an apology coming in over here. Okay, give me one more of what this person wants to say. Ooh. Take a break from being so serious and defensive. Yeah, they, they are hoping that when they come towards you, 
um, that you're that you're going to at least listen to them, that you're not going to fight with them, that you're not going to just push them away immediately. They want to be heard. Okay, so I feel like they're worried that you're just going to start a fight with them or something. I see you in this peaceful energy, okay? I see you as being a very caring individual collective, and I don't think you're going to be mean to this person, but they're worried about that. Um, yeah, we need to communicate soon. They know this person's coming forward to talk, so and it's going to happen um, when you least expect it. It could be in the next um, five to eight weeks, okay? This person could come in five to eight days maybe. So yeah, anyway, that's what I've got for today's reading, how they currently feel. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Thank you guys so much for the likes the subscribes, the comments, showing your love. Thank you so, so much. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.